Mom, have you seen my goggles? I don't think so. Do you have any others? I'll have a look. This is Eliza Stone. She is 16 years old. I have these. Oh, thanks, Mum. Shit, I mean, Mr. Bass. Okay, darling, I'll have fun. Eliza left the house in a rush, leaving her tail behind. Eliza, you forgot this. Thanks. I'll see you tonight. Okay. As Eliza was leaving her house, a boy entered a milk bar. He bought a Mars bar. By this time, Eliza was walking down the same street. Eliza walked past as the boy opened the bar. He won a free bar. As he turned to go back, he bumped Eliza. She stumbled slightly and her foot came down in a piece of gum. While this was happening, a woman and her child were waiting, held up in traffic. They were also heading to the pool for the afternoon. As Eliza was approaching the railway crossing, the boom gates began to close. The bus that Eliza had been planning to catch was pulling away. Hey Anna, sorry. It's alright, there'll be another one soon. Eliza and Anna were getting ready for a swim. A girl playing with a ball was annoying her mum, who had a headache. As Eliza walked across to the pool, the girl lost control of her ball. And as she put her goggles on, they snapped, hitting her in the eye. Now. Many things have happened today that have had an effect on the events that have occurred. If Eliza's goggles hadn't snapped, if the girl hadn't knocked Eliza, if she had got onto the first bus, if she had made it through the boom gates before they closed, if she hadn't stepped in that piece of chewing gum, if the boy didn't win a free bar and she hadn't been bumped, if she had left her house moments earlier because she had remembered her towel, or if she had looked a little harder for her own goggles, she would not have died today, but she did.